No longer shall its mystical powers be diminished. At last! Yes! Desmond will die, and our long struggle will finally end the only way it could have, with me as the victor! Yes, and you will be able to spread your knowledge across the astral plane for all those wise enough to accept it. No, not astral knowledge, you simpleton. Psychic domination, and that, and that still won't be possible until you destroy Desmond's jamming device. No need to worry, my lord. We shall reconsecrate the mansion and remove the impurities obstructing your perfect guidance. Yes, fine. Go destroy the house and its impurities. Just stop that jammer, and I'll be free of you morons once and for all. Yes, we shall be free of all limitations. Thank you, Master. We shall be the instrument of your mighty real. Excuse me. Hello? You are a fellow seeker of the higher planes, perhaps. What brings you here? I may be the man who leads our physical affairs, but I cannot claim true wisdom. I take my orders from my higher master. Whether it be how to explore higher planes, or the decision to remove the disruptive ghoul, all wisdom comes from the Transcendent Master. It is very rare that others are permitted to commune with the Master. Many are too foolish to understand the great truths of his higher mind. But I sense in you great potential. Perhaps you have what is needed to accept his teachings and grow from his wisdom. He manifests here, high on a ledge in the great sea cave's well. Seek him out and all shall be revealed. So, you're the mouse that was scurrying around here. Not much to look at, but at least you're not drooling all over yourself. I can work with that. Now then. Perhaps you can be more useful than that simpering spiritualist and his tribe of idiots. At the moment, they've had no use at all, but I have very few options. They can't even seem to remove a single ghoul from a house. More than you could possibly imagine with your squishy pink mind. But the only pressing matter at the moment is a device in his possession. He has a jammer that limits my projection range to this pathetic cave. Remove that and I can extend my reach so much further. Killing Desmond would be a nice plus, but I'm sure we can get around to that later. Of course I did, but that moron thought it was one of his adult visions. The real goal was to destroy the ghoul's jamming device. Honestly, those fools aren't worth the meat they're made of. A minion that can't follow directions is no use at all. Desmond, that bag of bones and bile will pay dearly for his trespasses. Were it not for his interference, I would still have a body. Still, its absence has only honed my brilliance, so perhaps I owe him my thanks. An appreciation I'll show in the form of a quick and messy death. Ha ha ha! Yes, away with you! Hi. I knew it! I knew that little bastard was behind all this! After all these years, he stuck his head out. This is my chance to cut it off. Figuratively speaking, of course. Him. I should have known. My old rival. So close to his family home. Only he would be so stupid. There was once a man, Professor Calvert. 
The Calverts owned half of Maryland, back when there was a Maryland to own. Members of the Calvert family were influential all over the world. They practically owned a deed to the U.S. government. In their best days, there were no less than three Calvert family senators, seven members of the House, and two governors. They even had a top candidate for president, until that scandal with the dog forced him to drop out of the race. I was particularly proud of that one. Of course, I fucking want you to do something else. You don't expect me to trot around this mud hole myself, do you? Nothing but the best for people who stay in my good graces. Now you're ready to stop whining and listen. So, those half-wits are getting messages from the Professor, right? So, he's off somewhere broadcasting to him. But without those buggers to do things for him, he can't do much for himself. So, we cut off his ability to talk to him, and he'll need to try harder. Maybe then I can find the squishy little worm and finish him off for good. If I know the Professor, he's using a high-frequency cognitive sign broadcast. I have the perfect device to jam up that little worm's talk box. All you need to do is take it to the highest point around and install it. Easy, right? Right, attach it to the bottom car, then turn it on and spin the jammer to the top. No fucking problem. I'll watch from here and turn it on. Then we'll see where our little professor is. Now go. It is I, Professor Calvert. Don't bother looking around, I'm in your mind. But, aren't you Desmond's faithful little employee? Coming to gum up my work, are we? Well, I have a better idea. How about instead of playing his game, you destroy that nasty little device? Deposit it in a nearby trash conductor, and we will never have to worry about it again. I assure you that the gratitude of Professor Calvert is worth a great deal more than that of a washed up old limey. Excellent, most excellent. I knew that you would make the right choice. And now it is time for Desmond to meet his end. He's made a fatal mistake. Return to Calvert Mansion. I have something there that I'd like you to see.
you can betray me? You have one chance. There's actually one chance to fucking redeem yourself in my eyes. We are going to go in there. We're going to end the Swanson for fucking all. And you will help. For you will be my enemy. And you do not want to be my enemy. Well now, finally you show some goddamn sense. So if you're on my side, why did you destroy my jammer? And you... impressive. Very impressive. Perhaps there's more to you than meets the eye. I suppose I had you wrong. That in itself is a once-in-a-lifetime event. Brace yourself, my friend. You're about to witness the end of an era. Hey. Let's go before he has time to prepare. All robots, activate! Destroy Desmond! Get him! Sweet. Identify. 
deserved that. I think our business is concluded. You're still here, are you? <clears throat> At last, the world is rid of that sniveling, disgusting, arrogant brain. Think of it. Everything he learned, everything he had, it's all here, and it's all mine. Mine! Moron, you cannot possibly comprehend what this is worth. I've been battling with Calvert for over 200 years, and now, at last, I am the victor. And now, 200 years of technology, knowledge, and research that he stole from me every time he beat me. It doesn't matter now! You're free to take whatever you find in this disgusting place. What I came for is of no interest to you. Enjoy your spoils. I don't think our paths will ever cross again. And I think we can both thank Christ and say hallelujah for that. Excuse me. Hey, just in time. Found out who went rooting around in our skulls, and you'll never guess who it was. As a totally unrelated hint, I'm in charge of this boat now. Yeah, looks like it. When the tribals would send someone to the swamp, he'd be waiting around to nab them when the punga seeds gassed them. He'd do his amateur surgery for the tribals and let us wander back, all in exchange for punga fruit to trade. Sweet little deal he had going on. Anyway, I figured you'd want a shot at some revenge, so I put him under a citizen's arrest. Sorta. Yeah, he seemed nice enough, didn't he? I wouldn't have figured it out if I hadn't snuck into his engine room while waiting for you. From the look of it, he kept every bit of gray matter he cut out, and he had quite a collection. You can take a look, if your stomach's up to it. And while you're in there, feel free to give Tobar my love, preferably with the sharp end of a hot knife. First off, I'm claiming this boat. I put Tobar down, so it's mine. Them's the rules of the ocean. So that leaves me with a boat, a load of punga, and a wicked scar. Damn if I hadn't earned that adventure I came out looking for. I think I'll take over running this ship. I can travel as I like, and always head back to the wasteland to see Mom. Not a bad way to live, huh? Of course, you can always ride for free. Yeah, enough gabbing. Let's move. Well, if it isn't my favorite traveler, and oh, what a trip you were on. Why, when you were under, you should have heard some of the things that came out of your mouth. But I suppose you're more interested in what came out of your head, aren't you? Why do we do anything? You travel the world, kill people, take trophies that interest you, and move on. I'm much the same. Only difference is that my trophies are somewhat more medical in nature. 
Oh, and to be honest, I probably kill fewer people than you do. But I suppose it's time that came to an end. One way or another. Help me! <clears throat> Hi. Oh, you're back. Yes. Thank you so much. And now that she's got this boat and carrying all this cargo, well, I can afford to actually pay you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your help. Freedom is always worth fighting for. Only together can we stop the spread of communism. anything I can do to lighten the load or you know if you need anything proofread hey Piper heading my way sure let's go will do 